we are back for season two. It's taken long enough. <laughs> Where have you been, guys? Great question, whoever you are. No, we've been we have been sorting season two out here when we're finally here. Well, you've been busy making lots and lots and lots of television shows, and Josh and I have been busy making lots of babies. <laughs> well, two of them. Yeah. And not together, yeah, honestly. No, well, uh, that would be impossible and illegal. I'm not yeah. sure which one comes first, but... <laughs> uh, yes, we had, a, we had a baby girl, Elsie, um, uh, on the 29th of January and then five days later, Josh um, and his beautiful wife, Soph, had their first child, uh, their little boy, Charlie. Um, so it's been a busy off-season for the Imperfects. It has, but um, but we're very, very happy to be back and thanks, everyone, for all the amazing emails and and messages you've been sending us um, since about season one, particularly, and that's obviously all still up there. Season two, well, actually, do we want to just for the people who the new people, Hugh, who have just discovered the Imperfects, and if you've just sort of stumbled across us, maybe because someone told you about it, or I don't know, it could have been many reasons. But I reckon this would be this would be a weird episode to start with, wouldn't it? If you were, yeah, <laughs> what's the Imperfects about? I'll go to their second introduction. <laughs> This yeah, second I'll just chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so no, but we 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 um well, you actually interview uh, sort of well known or successful people about their life, and and then um, they reveal something you know their struggles or how their life is less perfect than maybe it appears from the outside. Yeah, and it's because we have this huge problem uh, around the world right now with perfectionism, where due to a whole variety of things, we all feel that we need to be perfect and. We certainly look at celebrities or well-known successful people and think, gosh, imagine my life was like them. I mean, that's kind of the, the way this whole podcast started was when you and I were chatting about mm. you, you revealed some of the stuff you were going through uh, with your journey and I was sort of blown away by that and that gave birth the idea of this podcast, I suppose. So, yeah, we, we chat with well-known people. Well, I chat with well-known people about their struggles and then you kind of pick my brain on what we can sort of take away from it because it's this has become a huge area of interest to you, I suppose, like well-being and self-development yeah. and happiness, all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of the premise for season one and, and I guess we'll do it again for season two. <laughs> We've got some amazing people lined up for season two. So the first episode, which will be out on Monday, I mean, it seems weird giving dates on a podcast because you might be listening to this and I recorded it two years ago, maybe. So for me to say like, oh, it comes out Monday, you're like, well, we don't even say Monday anymore. <laughs> like saying Monday was so 2020. We now say fun day. <laughs> so where, whatever time you're listening to this, the podcast, the episode after this one will be episode one, we promise, of season two. And Hugh, this is, I mean, I don't even want to announce who it is because I feel like you did all the legwork to, to make it happen. It's very exciting. Mm. Well, uh, we are unbelievably fortunate and incredibly lucky to have um, Johan Hari as the first, uh, as our first guest. Johan Hari, for those of you who don't know, is a bit of a hero, I suppose, to all of us, but he's the author, best-selling author of the book Lost Connections, which I think is one of the biggest sellers over the last couple of years uh, worldwide. And uh, yeah, I mean, we've talked about a bit, I've talked about him a little bit on this on this podcast and I and I was sitting mm. around. I was actually thinking about people who get on. I actually was. It was literally like something from a movie. I was looking around my room and like just saw the Lost Connection books and thought, "Nah, surely not. Why not? Yeah. I'll give it a go." And so I sent him an email, and uh, and the answer was yes. So he's our first guest, Amazing. and he is. I also uh, looked around my bookshelf, and I'm still waiting to hear back from Roald Dahl, but no, <laughs> no such luck yet. Um, you never know. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> But yes, the 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 episode on Monday, Monday, Johan Hari, he is he is really incredible and um really exciting. I mean, it was such like a when you called me, Hugh, and said, um, and you said, guess who we've got on the show? It was such like a mental health geek moment where you went, <laughs> Johan Hari, and I went, woo! It was like it was like fifteen year old me hearing that I was going to meet Michael Jordan. <laughs> but it is um it is it is really exciting and and the stuff that he talks about with you Hugh is um is pretty incredible. So um I'm looking forward to that. Um and our second guest is Katrina Bissett. Uh mm. Katrina Bissett for those of you who who don't know is the fastest woman in Australian history over 800 meters. Um uh, the amazing thing about Katrina's story is she actually started running uh, competitively when she was 21 years old because um, her psychologist said to her, 
I think you should start running. It might help with your anxiety and depression. Um, mm. And that's when she started running age 21. Um, and four years later, she is the fastest woman um, in Australian history um, over 800 metres. It's a fascinating story. So I can't wait to bring that one to you. Yeah. And then, and then the third, third app, there'll be, look, there'll be more. It's not just three apps this season, but there'll be more, but we won't go into too many of them. But the third one, um, well, we won't go into too many of them because not many other ones have been organized or recorded. That's okay. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> That's that's fine. I mean, you don't call yourself the imperfects and come out perfectly. That is not what it says on the box. So, <laughs> so um, no. But the th- the third the third guest in the third episode um, is a really good friend of mine, a guy that I've I've known for so long. Oh, so long, five years. I guess that's so long, especially if you're five years old. If you're five years old, five years is a long time. <laughs> but I'm not. No. So I've known you. I've known Steen. Sorry for um, like five years. And Steen Raskopoulos is a comedian, stand-up comedian, uh, and is just in- incredibly talented and done so much, so much incredible work. Um, but the reason that I'm, uh, I really wanted to get him on the show and and hear his story is because my experience knowing him and sort of my perception of of his life. Um, turned out to be very different than um, than it actually was in reality for him, and I only found that out like a, a year and a half ago. So it's quite an amazing story, uh, and I'm just really thankful to him that he's coming on the, the podcast and sharing his story with everyone. Something else we do need to say, and um, this is a big change coming to the to the Imperfects, Hugh. Some of you might have heard of iHeartRadio. So iHeartRadio, they have a bunch of radio stations, but they also do podcasts. And they approached us um, a little while ago and asked us if we wanted to be part of their network, I guess. Um, and, you know, we talked about it and we weren't necessarily sure whether it was the right thing to do because, of course, that means introducing a couple of ads into the podcast um, but we have decided, we sort of came to the decision, which I think was a good one, that um, it will mean that we'll be able to reach more people. Uh, and so the, this, we feel like there's such amazing things that these people are sharing with us and with, with you guys that the more people that hear it, the, the better, I guess. And hopefully um, you guys are willing to put up with a couple of ads each episode uh, so that can happen. Uh, well, that's all we really have to say. We will um, let you move on to uh, the next podcast you've got lined up um, until episode one, which will be out very, very shortly on Monday. Um, have a great week and We're, all we week, are, depending we on are, what day it is. We are very excited to be back. So thanks, everyone, for your patience. I know it's been a little while between drinks, but we, uh, yeah, we can't, wait to, um, can't wait to be back at it again on Monday. Thanks, guys. Miss Bye. you. Just cut the cord. What'd you say? Miss you. Just cut the Is it me or everyone? Everyone. Oh. Can I be a fascination? <laughs>